All right, y'all, I am back with my Hoover Swivel XL Pet. I have put a different belt in it, which seems to, which is definitely a lot better than the last one. I took it out of the um, Dirt Devil Scorpion since I hardly used that one. And uh, that one I don't really care to use. I don't, well, I do like it, but on the thicker carpet, it definitely tears belts up as those they're devils of that style with the uh automatic height settings so uh yeah i also took the liberty of emptying this hoover as well so here we go Yeah, that's definitely a lot better than it was before. So, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and uh, pick these screws up over here. And we got this stuff that came out of the uh, Shark Speed Duo Clean. I'm just going to put this over here with the uh, breeze. Um, I usually only put two of these back in the unit because... Really, it doesn't require all four of them. I know doing things proper is usually the way I go about stuff, but in this case, it's a bit overkill because the other two are kind of pointless. But yeah, we're gonna pick up this mess that came out of the uh, Shark Speed, which I cleaned up, and if anyone's interested, it's on Kofi. Here we go. I actually do like this better than the uh, Vessel Clean View Pet Swivel over there. Um, I know it's really pointless for them to call it the power drive because, well, we all know what the first thing that comes to my mind is when I think of a Hoover power drive. Something a lot more like a uh, the Hoover Power Max right here, or the uh, Hoover Concept. So, uh, yeah, I don't call it the Power Drive for that reason, mostly. Um, that's really the only reason. So I just call it the Hoover Swivel XL Pet. Um, I was pointed to the fact that it does have all of its tools. Like, there's absolutely nothing else that it would have come with. Though, I definitely got to say, I know I probably put this out there in, the, in one of the other videos of it. This has a very odd filter setup. Like, this comes out, and that's the only thing for the air path. Like, I did test this, and... Uh, yeah, the air path goes through here, 
down into here around the filter like this. <laughs> That's how this thing is set up. So I was under the impression that there was supposed to be a filter up in here. I don't think so because otherwise, um, they would have it would have said filter or something up top. But yeah, as we could see, there was absolutely no strain when I put my hand up here to try and block the airflow. I could feel air coming through it though, because of course the filter's right there and so is the vent. But um, still, what in the world? Like who in their right mind would design something like this? I mean, it would have made more sense if they were gonna put an air, a filter up in here like a clean view, a Bissell clean view. And of course, I don't mean like the uh, clean view pet swivel over there. I mean a clean view like this one. Because right down here, there's a filter. And also up here, of course we can see where I used it last. And then there's also this filter up in here. which needs to be cleaned. But still, um, it would have made more sense if they had did something like that because the patent for this, if there even was one, is long expired because this one was made in, let's see if I can read this right, in 2003. So if this one was made in 2003, then I'm pretty sure that any patents for that filter setup would be expired. So they very well could have done that. I know I've spent just about this entire video ranting on why the uh, filter setup makes no sense if they're going to have this up top to where you can open that. So we'll go ahead We'll just scoot the convertible 4345. If I remember that right, it is 4345. Over for a moment. And we'll use this to clean the welcome mat. Adjust the height to be safe. Put it up to medium and we'll come in here and clean the rug that's in the laundry room. Now, since this height set, these height settings are kind of random, I am gonna have to go the other way.
wish they would put more than four height settings because unlike a Hoover convertible, this one needs more than four height settings. Because we all know with Hoover convertibles, their height adjustments are more reasonable. Like this one. Yeah, we got low, normal, high, and shag. Which shag is more like deep shag. It's necessary for deep shag. And with these, the height settings kind of stick. I wish they wouldn't. I need two hands because this one's, this one can get to be a pain. We'll just leave it on normal. <clears throat> but yeah, that one has more reasonable height settings to have four. The convertibles, yeah, they're more reasonable with height settings. These, I can already tell should have at least five. I know some people think that odd numbers aren't the best for carpet heights, but even Royals, like my like the 1030Z that's in storage, have five height settings. They work all right. So yeah, I'm probably not gonna do a review of this because, well, I already said I like it. It's decent. It's basically one of the only Hoovers left with headlights. I like headlights, just like the one on the clean view. And uh, I even like that one. I like vacuums with headlights. I do wish that the contractor vac and the 887 and the 886 had headlights, but they're fine. I like those styles anyway. Dyson's the only thing you could really get that's close to a headlight on any on on a Dyson is if you get the <clears throat> V15 detect which is the um, Which is the stick vac slash hand vac from Dyson and that's only on the floor head So anyway, tell me how you liked it. Tell me what you want to see I'll see what I can do, how I can do it, when I can do it, and if I can do it. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications for more content if you haven't yet. And until next time, bye, y'all.